Hi guys and welcome to Zenden Zoo. So I really really love this game, especially the especially okay. the pixel art and I love the concept of it being a zoo simulation. It's everything about this game is so cute. So I decided that I should record this gameplay. So here we have a new test from our investor. Her name is Kathleen. It says, hey there, my name's Kathleen and I'm currently your zoo's sole investor. Could you come down to that to the management office for a quick chat, please? It's here, let's click on test. It says all kinds of requests end up here and I know you will want to keep on top of them. Try viewing a new test now. So let's look at the new task. It says every zoo needs animals, but before you can take a delivery of any animal, you need to build an enclosure. So let's do that then. So let's build a grass enclosure and we can start by building it like kind of in the middle right here. Uh, I actually don't know if I want it this small or is this big? Okay, I like that. And then we need to add a door. I kind of want to make it easy for my workers, like especially if we're going from, you know, like all of the main buildings. So I'm going to put it facing this way. It says, great, now that we have an enclosure, we can start the real business of finding animals to make our zoo one step closer to becoming the best zoo on planet Earth. All right, we have Timbo. It says, overpopulation. Good day. I have a gift for you. Visit me in my zoo and I can tell you all about it. Just find the Australian, Australian zoo on the world map. Here we go. And it looks like down here. It says, truth. We had an unexpected boost to our rabbit population last month and we just don't know what to do with them. I heard you were starting a new zoo and instantly thought we might have found the perfect home for a couple of our floppy eared furballs. What do you say? Uh, we need animals for a zoo, so yes. And we actually get one male and one female, which will help with populating. So thank you, Timbo. I'm sure you'll love them and your visitors will too. I'm sure. Select an enclosure to deliver your new animals. Right here, please. Yep. All right. Sounds good. Okay, we have another task. It says, it's probably time to start trying to earn a living. Let's open the zoo so paying customers can start turning up. Sounds like a plan. So today is our first day in business, and it looks like there's a newsletter from Horizon Herald. It says, grand opening from Jennifer Dudna, which is the editor. The mayor officially opened our new zoo today. The zoo that has been named Zenden was made possible through an investment from Kathleen K. A renowned, a renowned international business mogul. The management of the zoo said we hope to become a huge success, bringing joy to animal lovers everywhere, while also being financially responsible to our investors, maybe even buying them out and going our, our own independence. In, oh, maybe even buying them out and gaining our own independence one day. An exciting time for everyone who witnessed the grand opening of the new local zoo. Thank you. I love it. And then our fun ones are coming. It looks like we have some things that we need to do. Water. I wonder if I can move this because this is the water pump supply. So I wonder if I can just like put that there. Okay, let's do that. And then obviously we need to add wa a water bowl. So I'm going to add this cute little water basin. And let's... Oh, we can't put it right there. Oh, but let's put it here. So it's easy. And we have more room for the bunnies to, you know, play their ball and stuff so we'll put two balls in there and yeah that should be good for our zoo all of the things regarding animals are all good and we have one shop this is a shop build a shop to start earning revenue okay oh so we need um oh it's this research grant from Isaac. Build a research building. Hi, I represent the Zoological Foundation for Research and I am here to offer you a grant. If you build a research hub before the end of the day, I will fund you for the next 14 days. Um, we are gonna accept that offer. Oh, we got another newsletter from the Horizon Herald. Plans for a research hub in local zoo. 
but also by Jennifer Dudna. The zoo recently announced that they plan to construct a research hub, and once built, visitors can expect to see a constant flow of new and exciting attractions appearing in the zoo. Zoo management says that there are currently no estimates on when it will be completed. However, they reassure us that after construction, the researchers and designers will be working hard to constantly refresh the look and technology of the zoo. We spoke to the locals, and the reactions are mostly positive. New stuff is always exciting, says Jane, a housewife with kids, friending an infamous comment commentator on all things negative in our community said why bother making new things we have enough things in the world already <gasps> you need to leave. okay franny all right so let's go to the shop and i think a gift stand would make sense because you know we come to the zoo all right Oh, this person has great work ethic, and they're kind of polite. They have a lot of energy. How about we give them a... You know what? Right now, $80 is what we can afford. We only have basically $1,000 to spend or $1,100. So we will hire you, Harold. Welcome to the team of Zenden Zoo. All right. Oh, we got to add the... I forgot. I almost forgot about that. Can we move? Let's move this around, actually. Hmm. Do I want to keep them in the corner or do I want to keep them in this corner? I think we will keep them in the corner. Okay, so we get $250 per day for 14 days from the research grant from Isaac because we built it in the one day. And then we have Jeanine. Jeanine. Um, and she has really high work ethic, too. She's kind of polite, but... She has a lot of energy, and we we need we, we love want that. this. We, we love this. We so, need this. Definitely how you. Oh, and we should add a storeroom because the storeroom holds foods for your animals. We can only have one of these, right, so we'll hire that. Oh my gosh, she has great work ethic too. I love it here. I love it. We want to apply to this employee type, so let's hire her. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, so let's check on these animals. It looks like. Oh my god, she's pregnant. Yay, I can't wait for the baby. So this is Bear, and then we have Snowflake. I love that. Bear and Snowflake. So cute. Oh, what is this? Enclosure status. Okay, so it's really spacious for them, which is good. And then we have some species information that kind of tell you, like, you know, what a rabbit does. And their life expectancy, their life expectancy, their average weight, fertility rate, etc. Oh, so they need a specific diet uh we should maybe we should let's look at their animal diet i mean they're pretty much satisfied but look the nutrition is very low so maybe we'll add some greens and carrots you know just a little bit more greens no look it got red so maybe we do like just a little bit more green okay i think they'll be happy with that and i kind of want to fix the appearance like i want to have a trail you know like that wraps around it so i think that's what we would do wait, wait i don't want that here though or should we do it there i don't know but regardless i want to have like this Okay, so right now, that's not our priority to fill that in. Because we gotta save money. And then I'm just gonna build, like, a path. Okay, so. Our profit today was negative 700 and we only have $700. That is really sad. And it says three people could not fit on your buses. One for the ticket price was too expensive. And 20 people entered the zoo. What? We had 20 people, so that's pretty good. All right, so Kathleen is giving us another task. It says, now we are finally up and running. I would love to start tracking your progress. If you reach 25 total customers, I will be able to give you a small performance bonus. Sounds good, Kathleen. Oh, we have a complainer. It says, hi there. I can't believe a zoo has opened up here in town. I have a small observation, though. Perhaps you might want to feed your animals. Hunger leads to starvation, and starvation leads to death. And I don't want dead animals sticking up the neighborhood. Build a storeroom for food. Well, we already did that, sis. So, come again, Franny. Thank you. Next. Okay. 
It says no more food. You do not have enough food to feed your animals today. Go to the storeroom and order food regularly to keep on top of things. Without food, animals will starve and eventually die, leading to upset visitors and empty enclosures. Look out for hunger emotes coming from your animals and look out for notification alerts. Sounds good. Ugh, Franny again. Oh shit. Here we go again. New task. Hire a janitor. Your zoo is going to become a rat infested den of disgust unless you hire someone to tidy it up. Yes, Franny. Thank you. We will get to that. Okay, we will get to that. We don't have a lot of money right now, Franny. Okay, so um let's order food because we did we need to do that. So I don't know what that is for, but we're good on food now. And then we had to hire, so you gotta go to the ticket office, and we need to hire an employee. So let's recruit, open this position. We're just gonna leave it at that, okay? We're not gonna do social media job board because we don't have the funds for that at this time. So we'll leave that searching. And our ticket price is only $5. If you cannot afford $5, I'm sorry. You Get your fucking ass up and work. Work a part-time job or something. So, all right, we're making a little bit of money. We're back in the thousands, so we can add a little bit more. Wait, what is this? Drinks. Okay, visitors get thirsty as they walk around the zoo. Build the drink shop to quench the thirst and earn more revenue. Okay, we will do that. I'm sorry, I keep pressing escape, but we will do that. So let's add a cola vending machine, and let's do. I kind of want to do like a. Wait, actually, do I want to do a plaza? Yeah, I was thinking, like, I kind of want to do, like, a little plaza thing. Mm, no, we'll add, like, decorations here. And then we'll add it there. And let's add a snack machine, too. While we're at it. Okay, do we have any? Okay, so we're good on everything here. Everything, oh, I'm sorry. Everything is good there. Oh, we have a new task. I guess that there's nothing left to do. Oh, what are you, how are you feeling? Is this a government employee can, who, evalu who evaluates the welfare and treatment of your animals? Oh, we got an A. We still have a C. Wait a minute, bitch. This is all. Your animals have a reliable and accessible water source. It is a prominent source to a new zoo, but there wasn't much animals to even see. Gosh, you just cannot win. So it looks like we still got a C, but that's okay. What is? It? What are you saying? There's nothing for me to do. I'm sorry. We gotta wait until we can afford more animals. But we did complete um, our new task, which was, I believe, hitting the 25 visitors. So, yay. Oh, we have a new task. We are really keen to begin our work. So, tell us what you would like us to research on by going to the research hub and allocating your research points to unlock more items. Okay. Oh, the research hub is here. This is the research screen. The employees of your research hub work tire tirelessly to earn points that you can use to unlock new buildings and bonuses. Try unlocking some research now. Let's start with maybe some benches. I feel like everyone needs that. So, research grid. Previews for important buildings and bonuses allow you to work towards unlocking the items you want. Selecting the research sets on the left gives you a hint about the locations of different things. Remember to come back regularly to spend your research points. Okay. Oh, it looks like we have something here. Oh, we have... Uh, mm. We have no applicants yet. Okay. Okay. But what we will do is add some more tiles over here. Mm -hmm. oh, I keep pressing escape. I'm sorry. Okay, we're just gonna have a little trail here. Okay, look at that. Alright, and then we need a trash. We definitely need a trash, so I'm gonna add a trash real quick. Right here. We'll add a cute little giraffe in here. I, I would prefer it right here, though. Right there. Oh my god, I built two. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Then we have a new chest. Oh, we completed a task, so yay. So we get $100 from that. We still need to hire a janitor, which we are still waiting for. Applicants. Oh, we have one applicant. Her applicants view. You got one star and almost, like, almost, like, very little to begin another one. 
Your work ethic is very low, though, so I'm gonna have to pass on you. Sorry, Julissa, but thank you for applying. Let's go look at the world map and see what animals we can get. So it looks like we can... At the animal shelter, they have a lot of rabbits, but we already have our own rabbits, and I don't wanna... I'm sorry, I do not wanna get more rabbits. This is not just a rabbit zoo. Looks like we need a snake to trade for the hyenas, and then for this one... Oh, I'm sorry. A rabbit for the... What is this, goose? Okay, so we need to wait for her to have babies. Let me check on her. One day left until she has her babies. So, we are gonna wait. Oh, oh my god, we, these people are rude. There's literally two trashes here, and they're littering on the damn floor. That's... Uh, okay. But it says that we've been in business for two days and we already profited $1,600. That is incredible. And we attracted 24 people, but three people could not fit on our bus. And one person still felt that $5 was too expensive. But we still had about 20 people into the zoo. That is awesome. All right, so we got another new task from Kathleen. It says, since I invested in this business, you have various performance targets to hit in order to allow more capital. Reach 100 total customers, and I will release some additional funding. Sounds good. Thank you, Kathleen. You believe in me. Okay, and now we have um, Potter. This is Animal Picture Club. You know, I really love seeing lots of animals. They bring peace and tranquility to me. But I am also a member of an online animal spotting group, so we compete to get pictures of the rarest species. I don't think we are supposed to take them at the zoo, but I just like winning on social media regardless of the reality. Anyways, you should get more animals. Thank you. I would like to. But... Let's check our janitors, because we need a janitor as soon as possible. Okay, we're going to have to... We can go on social media now. Uh, should we do social media or should we do job portal? Maybe job portal. Okay, let's try that. But we need a janitor and they're hungry. Are you working though? She's a little satisfied, but she's working so hard. Okay, we got another applicant. Let's check them out. So we got Franklin. Okay, lost puppy. A man has lost his best friend. The animal keeper told me that we have found a lost dog, a beautiful Labrador. We could call the number on its collar and tell its owner, or we could use this as an opportunity to earn more money and expand the this fledgling zoo. Why don't we dress the dog up as a lion and use it to amaze your visitors? Uh, so either we dress it like a lion, or we could call the man that lost his best friend. Honestly, I would rather call the man that lost his best friend. So now we're going to have to spend $50 to hold the advertising campaign. This is your choices matter. The morality cho choices you make will impact the buildings and actions you can use and may be reflected in certain people's behavior. Choose wisely. So as you can see, the purple seems like it's bad and the gold is good. So depending on the situation, we may or may not have to make some bad decisions. But let's check out Fra Franklin. Oh yes, Franklin, you're hired. Look at his work ethic. It's really high. So we're hiring you. And... Yes, we'll close it for now because we don't want it to keep running because we have to pay for the posting. So we already have our one janitor and that's good. And we have a new task. Or we completed a task. All right, Franny, are you happy? Thank you. All right. So we need to get some more animals, but she didn't have her baby yet. Wait, this is... Wait, where's her baby? Wait, Oh, the baby there! It's Mandy. It's little Mandy. Mandy, you are so adorable. Okay, so unfortunately, I know you just gave birth to Mandy, but we are gonna have to do a trade for the for the goose. But I need to build its habitat first. So let's build its habitat, and let's put that right. Here. I think I'm just gonna do a really small one right here. I mean, they're just two go goose, right? That's kind of big for goose, but okay. Put that there. And then let's go to the world map. It says, so, you may have heard that a goose can be quite er, difficult. Well, let me tell you, that most certainly is not the case. And is in no way the reason we are trying to trade a pair of them just for, them for just one rabbit. No, not at all. 
we're gonna trade it anyway to have more species and we get one male and one female it says oh you are sure to be happy with these and they possibly won't be any trouble but i do recommend not letting your visitors get too close uh what does that mean so sh should we block this a little bit maybe i don't know but we will prepare the enclosure so let's add a water basin and they are goose i think i want to give them like a clear white let's do that one and then we're gonna add some enrichment you know because they can get one since they're naughty and let's check the research hub we got seven points okay let's do more enrichment oh wait why did i waste my points on that boo i had a filter pack all right, keep working hard, research team. We have that coming in, and then we will also start decorating, I mean. I was going to say designing, but I put that there, and that's looking pretty cute. Okay. Oh, we need a water supply. I think that's what we need, because water supply does a hit over here. So let me find amenities, right? Yep. Oh yeah, it barely hits over here, so we'll put it in the corner. Alright, now they have water coverage, they have water coverage. Everything is looking good. Okay. And then... Oh, we should add a restroom. I feel like restrooms are important, right? Alright, let's do... Wait, 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 wait. What is next? Oh, nothing else. Okay. Yeah, let's add one restroom. Let's add it over here. Yeah. Okay. And then let's... Mm, okay, let's adjust these. Let's put that there. Let's move these. Like down here a little bit. And then we'll move this. Here. Mm, yeah, that's fine. And then I think we should add like this little hot dog shop, right? Oh, I don't want it too close to the bathroom. Hmm. Okay, maybe we should move the bathroom. And oh, I do not want to hire you, Blair. You have really poor work ethic. Mm, but I guess we have no choice. So this is day three, and it looks like we did not really profit today, but it's okay because we've been like, you know, we built an enclosure, we bought some new facilities, but today it looks like we are still attracting about 24 people, and it's about the same at the bottom where the three people could not fit, one felt the ticket price was too expensive. It is what it is. Uh, let's move the restroom. I want it close to the employee office, or not too close, but kind of close. Mm. How about we put it right there? So it's like it's nearby. It, it's a walk, but it's nearby. And then let's move this rest uh trash thing over here. I mean trash bin, not trash thing, sorry. Right there. Alright, she's cute. And then let's add some more tiles that will connect to the bathroom. Uh, maybe we just do that and then how about we just oops alright cute and then I do want to add some benches because I would get tired so I know that these people you know sometimes you just want to sit and enjoy the food or you know whatever you're doing so we add one like mm, we'll just add one in the middle maybe right here just add one for now what else is there oh we have a zoom map we can definitely add that like it's not straight which is like bothering me but it's okay oh we got that here that would be cute so it's not really in the way and we have like flowers and decorations that we can add. I would like to add some, you know, make it a little kind of cute, you know? It's cute. 
And then let's go to the research hub. Uh, we have four points, so maybe we should invest in... What can we invest in? Um, more trees, a desert enclosure. Maybe we can do the signs. How many is that? Oh, we need two. Okay, we'll just spend two for now for extra signage. And then let's double check if we have enough food. So. And look, our goats are here. So we have Blast and we have um, Heidi. Cute. So everything is good for now. We have a heart on her. This place is kind of fun. Not perfect, but better than sitting at home. Thank you. I'll take that. Oh, we still need to get five animals though. So let's go look at the world map and see if we can get any other animals. It looks like they only have rabbits there. In the Toronto Zoo, we need... It looks, um, we need to trade an animal for these ducks. But I don't really want ducks. Like, I would rather have these snakes. Or, mm, I don't really want pigs either. But I do want a hyena. So maybe the snakes and the hyena is what we're gonna try and grab next. But these guys are good. Wait, I'm just trying to find the bunny. Oh, why are your nutrition so low? Okay, I need to fix... I don't know how to fix the nutrition. Let's see. Why is their nutrition so low? So if I lower the straw... And then I up this. Up this. Oh. So you kind of have to up certain things. Oh, so we want to give them carrots. Okay, carrots is... Alright, this is good. And then let's check them. Oh, their nutrition is low too, so let's lower this, like, greatly. And then let's give them some greens. Mealworms. Mealworms is what they need, so we'll lower that. And then bread. Okay, so today is day four, and we profited $100. And then this time, we have three people could not fit in, on your bus, and three people felt the ticket price was too expensive. And only 18 people entered the zoo today. That's still okay. You know, we're still growing, so it's okay. It says, Animal Keeper Zoning. Create work zones. Your animal keepers are inefficient, making your animals suffer. Create work zones for better efficiency by selecting each keeper and assigning them places to work. Maximize efficiency by sending the... What, by sending more experienced keepers to enclosures that are larger and further from the storeroom. Use the heat map view to review your zoning. Okay. No more food. Look for notification alerts. Sounds good, but oh, we have a new variant, and it's like a brown and white. So cute. Okay, but we are still adjusting the animal diet. So um. Uh, not mealworms. Oh no. Okay, that's a good amount of mealworms. Or greens. Oh, there you go. Now they're happy, but I don't get why it's red. Okay, let's buy some food. Seven days by. So now they're good on food. There is a VIP in your zoo. Occasionally, VIPs will visit your zoo. You will be able to interact with them by locating them and speaking to them. Who is the VIP? You? Black market dealer. Do you want to get your hands on some rare animals? I can find all sorts of animals. Just don't ask me where I got it. Who, need, who needs ethics when there's money involved? Let me go look at your animals. Let's see. There are 4,000? Okay, we do not have that amount. So, sorry. 
But who is a very important person? Where are you? Over here? Nope. You're a visitor, visitor, visitor. You're the researcher. Who? Was it that person? Was it this black market dealer? You're really thirsty? Well, we have some um, water stands for you, buddy. Right here. So, head on over there if you're thirsty. Let's adjust the seat right here. Oh, you know what? Actually, we'll move them over here. So it's more like, you know, you get a drink, you can sit. And then we'll add another wooden bench right here. Okay. And we have some poo poo. Let's zone her here and here. Okay. I've been to better zoos, but this one is okay. This place is kind of fun. I've been to better zoos, but this one is okay. So we just, I think the special guest was that, uh, was this guy, the black market dude, but... Should we, I'm not going to report him to the police. I mean, it depends on what he's doing with those animals, so... Okay, so we're almost there with the five animals and such. Wait, where's our new, where's our new bunny? I thought we had a new bunny. Are they researching the bunny? Let me check. Well, we have six points, but... Where's our other bunny? I thought she just gave birth. Okay. I don't know, but... Alright, everything is flowing pretty good. I don't really see a lot of litter. We're doing pretty good for now. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a morality of five, so that's pretty good. Ooh, we just made fifteen dollars from the hot dog shop. I appreciate all the people that are throwing their trash into the bins. Thank you guys. Not yet. I kind of don't want to do that yet. Okay, so this is day five, and today we profited three hundred dollars. Um, we only had eighty people enter today, but we still profited, so that's pretty amazing to me. We have some unspent research points. Ooh, I love slushy. So I mean, oh, I should be thinking about the animals, but I love slushy. Okay, well, unlock the desert enclosure as well. There we go. Um, okay, let's go to the... Oh, I definitely want to place the slushy shop because I love slushies, okay? So we're definitely going to place this here. But, you know what? Let's put it for now. Yeah, medium work ethic. Shannon, you get one chance, girl. Okay, let's... Okay, we got a newsletter or news report from the Horizon Herald. It says, International Business Trips on the Rise from Jennifer Dudna again. You may have noticed a large number of foreign investors arriving in the community recently. This is all due to our wonderful new zoo. The seed investor, Kathleen Kay, is hoping to get more partners on board and has managed to grab the attention of a large number of wealthy individuals. As a result, tour buses full of international bu business people who want to see the zoo for themselves are arriving. Miss Lee said, This is a great opportunity for diversifying my portfolio. I can also avoid paying taxes at home by putting my money offshore in businesses like this one. I don't really care about the ecological side of the zoo. I just need somewhere to hide my money because I am so rich. Okay, Miss Lee. So let's move these. I don't know where to move them. I definitely want this slushy shop though. How about we put it here for now? It's like an awkward spot, but just for now, you know, in case anybody wants some slushies. 
Okay, so we completed our 100 vid visitors. Yay! And it looks like we are going to get reach 100 total customers now release some additional funding. So we're going to be getting... Oh, 1,500! Nice! And then we still need to get five animals, so... I'm trying to do that. You know what? Maybe I'm thinking I might move this over here. I don't know where to put this. It's kind of like big and awkward. What is the problem? There's poop. Oh my gosh. Why do people act like they, they don't poop themselves? It's not a big deal, guys. It's just boo-boo. Okay, let's go look at the world map again. Oh, another goose. No, we don't need any more of those. Oh, we... No, snake. Does anyone want a bunny? Because <laughs> right now we can't get any animals. Let me see. Where's the female? How come she's... Repro How come she's not pregnant? Okay, let me check the food. I think we should still be good with food. Yep, we're good. Okay, we have one person that littered. Very nice. This is... I'm really thirsty. Okay, well, there's a Coca-Cola machine. We have a slushy machine. All this walking is tiring me out. Okay. You, we need more um, benches. I'm sorry. Lots of chairs, lots of seats. There you go. We have seats over there. Looks like we have a lot of people today, but I'm not too sure. So, we have a lot of business folks. Oh, I'm sad. They said that they're not really having much fun. I mean, what can I do to make you happy? Uh, you know, I really love seeing lots of animals. They bring peace and tranquility to me. Oh, we already read this. Okay. Thank you. I'm a little disappointed that, you know, people aren't really enjoying it here. But, you know, as our... I feel like we might need another... Um, we might need another janitor. So let's search for one. Uh, wait, how do we... Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm trying to search for more janitors. How do we search? Oh, right here. Hire a janitor. Let's recruit. And let's apply. And we will do the job portal again. Okay. No. Okay, let's apply these changes. And then like that. Okay. Alright. Okay, so today... This is our sixth day in business, and today we profited 1600 and total we have 4000 right now, which is amazing. Um, our park rating, we attracted 24 people, which is like the standard right now. Uh, four people cannot fit in our bus, and 26 people felt the ticket price of $5 was too expensive. Okay, you know what? Let me tell you something. <laughs> wait, wait. Let's, let's, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> but 46 people entered the zoo, so you know what? Fine by me. Okay. So we have Linda here. She says, welcome to our town. I would love to extend our warmest welcome to you. The people of the city love having a zoo here, and I have personally cleared the land around your zoo for development. If you want to buy more land to expand, we are happy to sell it to you buy land uh yes we are gonna need to do that we have another task from k sawyer time to expand i'm thinking of opening a transport dealership to sell in industrial vehicles and buses if you would like to invest a sum of money i'll open an account for you and ensure you are front of the queue when it comes to buying buses to service your zoo uh we are donating to you of course we need that okay so we got a news report from the horizon herald mayor approves expansion plans 
Due to the growing popularity of the zoo, the mayor has approved plans for it for an expansion. All efforts have been made to reduce red tape and extend a warm welcome to the zoo, fast tracking the process of buying land. So as long as the zoo can afford it, our mayor is very delighted with the zoo and enthused by the possibilities that the destination brings in terms of both entertainment and education. I hope that we will be able to get a world-class zoo in our area that we can proudly call our own, she states. We have yet to hear from the zoo management team with regards to their expansion plans, but we assume the process will begin in the near, near future. You're right. Okay, another one. Thanks to an investment from the local zoo, K. Sawyer has opened a transport dealership. He had this to say, I am so happy. Not only will I be selling buses to the zoo, I will also be selling all kinds of other industrial vehicles to people in the area. Sawyer hopes to one day expand his business to include his other love, theme park attractions. But for now, looks like this transport tycoon's business will do fantastically well in the area. Thank you for your business. Okay, so we need to buy land. So we can buy land above or to the right or the left of us. I think for now, I think I'm going to go above. How much is that? Yes, we can buy that. Okay. Okay, so for now, let me push these back a little bit. I don't want to go too far back because I know that they go to these facilities. But, you know, for now, we're just pushing there. Uh, we have another bun bun. We have some trash. Oh, let me check if we have any applicants yet. Zero applicants. It's okay. Uh, oh, we have a task. This is by land. Okay, we finished that. I had a $1,000 reward. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that. Okay, let's go to the research hub and see. So we have seven points. Uh, ooh. That's for entertainment and enrichment. So we want that. Floor pack or plant pack. I feel like that's not really my priorities right now. Like, I feel like nursery. Oh, dang. I done spent it on the trampoline. I do want... I mean, the bunnies already... You know, is that poop? Oh, yeah. That's definitely waste. See? Now they have to walk really, really far. So... Wait, let's double check if the animal diet's good. Okay, let's just buy that for now. Get that over with so we don't have to stress about... Whether they're being fed. Let's check if we don't have no applicants yet. Well, we got money now, so. Wait, uh, sorry. So now we're gonna edit this and put it on social media too. So. Oh, we actually got an applicant. Okay, let's double check. So we have Gustus or Shona. Let's look. Uh uh, your work ethic too low. Ooh, you're hired. Yes, close it. Thank you. Welcome to the team, Shona. Okay, so now we have two janitors on board, which is really good. Uh, where are you guys going? I need to zone you guys, because... Like, right here. You stay here. How do you set this? And then, where is, uh... Shona? Shona, you will zone right here. Okay. Is that... Did I zone you? I don't know. Okay, I did. Okay. So, that way they can stay around these areas. And can you... Where are you going? We need you guys to get to work. Okay. So, because we have expanded, hmm, I kind of, I don't want to move this too far back. Should we buy another area? Oh, it's a thousand now? I don't want to spend a thousand yet. I kind of want a bigger, like, food court area, too. So, let's look at, what else can we add? Maybe? Well, it's over now, but where are you going? Shopkeeper? Ah. Okay, I'm gonna have to rethink this. Maybe we can add like another area over right here, but I also want to add another enclosure. Okay, let's go look at the world map real quick. Maybe we can save 
Uh, ooh, we can save you. Rescue. And we can put you in here for now. Okay. Alright, now we have, I don't know what that is, but we will build, it's, should we build another enclosure for that? I feel like they can stay with the goose. What else can we save? They have a bunch of rabbits. So I have to wait for those, so we're gonna have to wait. But I think I do want to move this area. I do like that it's here, but maybe we can have like a bigger, we can definitely use another restroom, so... Let's build one more restroom next to here. Okay. Alright, so now we are here at the end of week summary. Um, if you guys want to read all of the details, feel free to pause. But overall, I feel like we are doing very, very well. We're profiting and we're growing. We expanded too. So we did a lot of things during this first week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to follow along on the series. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.